So in this video we're going to learn how to automatically change the colours in a nice sedate way and in a way that will blow our minds. So if we look in the source for the cellular automata app, one of the suggested exercises or challenges to cycle through the colours randomly and automatically. So we already know how to set the color. So all I have to do now is create a bot that will change the color every set time interval, say 1000 milliseconds every second. And the challenge I need to do is I need to generate a hex value that represents an HTML color in order to do that. So I need to figure out how to do that first. So in JavaScript I can use the 0x notation to create hex values and that gets turned into a normal integer. And I can use the two string value on a number to turn it into a different base representation. So I could have a binary representation of a number or a hexadecimal representation. Now I need to get a six character string even if the hex value is only FFF. So I can do that by using the substring method. And if I use a minus value it starts from the end of the string. But I always want to have a hash at the front of whatever string I create. So if I put all of that together, I can create a hex code for any number variable. Just like that. But what I really want is a random number. And if I look in the code for the game, I can see that they already have a function to generate a random number, so I'm just gonna use that. And I can use the hex notation for the numbers that I'm randomly generating to set the maximum limit for the hex value. And that would get me a random number. So putting all that together, I will now create a random bot that will change the color every thousand milliseconds. I'm gonna use the source snippets in order to create and edit this. So there we go, that will be my color change bot, which will generate a random integer from zero to the maximum hex value that we can handle put it in a string, pad it with zeros, take the last six characters and change that every thousand milliseconds. Let me save that and let me run that. So now every second we get a new random color. Let me just stop that bot running. And if I change that value, I can make the color change happen faster. Now remember, if you make this color change happen too fast, you're in danger of flashing lights and going into seizures. So don't do that. Let me stop this running again. Now the other challenge I'm gonna add is to cycle over all the colors. So I'm basically just gonna start at zero, iterate over the colors and set them as I go. And if you can see the colors changing, that's much more sedate. There we go. We've randomly changed and cycled over the colors. And we've done that in a bot that we can start or stop whenever we want.